Hello and thank you for clicking on today's video series shorts for Bamboo Solutions Password Toolkit. Now today we're going to be talking about a few different web parts within this toolkit. They comprise of the password change, password reset, password expiration, and also the user account setup. And we'll go through a short video series on how these various tools work within SharePoint to give you a high level overview of the products. Let's go ahead and switch screens. Alright, so the first one we're going to talk about today is the user account setup. Now this particular tool allows authorized SharePoint users to add accounts in Active Directory services, the local Windows server, or a SQL membership provider. This new account can simultaneously be added to SharePoint with updated profile information and SharePoint group membership information. Now if you also need the ability to approve new accounts before they're created, user account web part has that type of capability. You have the option to go in and actually configure those different settings. Now any new account transactions can also be logged with relevant data stored in a custom SharePoint list. Now let's go ahead and, and sort of type in one of those and add that to the account directory to show how some of the process works. So we'll just type this in. We'll type in John Smith. Uh, say J. Uh, Smith. Smith. I'll say a bamboo. Um, keep this one relatively simple. All right. Leave some of that other information related to HR uh, contact uh, data just empty for the time being. We'll click on next. It will go ahead and process the request. Here you can see I have some different options that have been added behind the scenes within the configuration on which organizational unit can we add this particular individual to. Now right now I only have it uh, configured for employees but if I've had others I could drop that dialog box down and choose those. In addition if we wanted to add this particular individual to specific SharePoint uh, groups we could add them at this time as well. And then finally we just click on the create user and that would go ahead and add them to the user profile. Now let's go ahead and click on edit real quick so we can take a look at some of the configuration processes that you as a user can configure within the tool. Okay, so here's the user account setup web part. As you can see, we're going to start off with the different security settings. These are going to allow us to define who is going to have access to the user account setup web part. Now the display settings simply provide you a brief description here to define what the intent and purpose of the user account setup web part is to be utilized for. The organization can go in and write some further details on what uh, the directions need to be focused on, possibly for a team member or supervisor that might be utilizing this particular tool. You have some options here. If your English is not the native language, you have some other regional settings that can be utilized. As far as the authentication provider, there we can see uh, different Active Directory and T directory services or forms based authentication can be used. The bottom of the screen you're going to see some different administrative account options on the requester account, whether you want to allow the web part to be imported, some Active Directory information, and then finally some other Active Directory new account settings. These are more common here at the bottom of the screen that you would see within Active Directory as simply we're passing through some of the utilities and features in Active Directory to a SharePoint GUI interface that allows the users to uh, be a little bit more uh, streamline with their process and adding users in. Here again, the whole point to this particular tool is not to involve uh, IT and burden them with uh, you know, adding accounts and once we get into the other web parts, password change, reset, and expiration, here again, it's a self uh, maintenance type of uh, tool set to be utilized within a SharePoint package. Moving forward, underneath the Active Directory Services uh, section, since we've got that one configured, you can see here the different fields that are going to be used uh, behind the scenes. Again, these are the ones that we used behind uh, initially to set up the actual web part as far as the name, contact information. Now you can add different fields here. These can be pulled over from different attributes within Active Directory. If we wanted to specify different OUs, uh, here again, we can do that uh, within Active from Active Directory. And then at the bottom of the screen, if we want to specify those other SharePoint groups, uh, we can also do that. We saw those uh, initially when I ran through the test scenario uh, just a moment ago. We're going to move forward and take a look at the password change web part next. Now simply what this tool does is it allows the user to navigate to a page where they can change their password. Simply key in the old password, the new password, and confirm the new password. 
and then go ahead and, and click on the change password. So very similar if you were to hit control alt delete within your local PC and you go in and, and update the password. The difference here is that you can do this obviously via SharePoint. Now the text here at the top that displays the type of policy that the, the uh, password needs to be enforced with is simply defined through a rich text editor uh, much like we saw within the user account setup. So let me go ahead and edit the web part and show you where some of that information can be configured. Alright, so now we're in the password change web part settings. As you can hear, see here, this is a lot of the general settings that can be defined on primarily the overall display, what authentication type are you going to be using, uh, the different uh, account display settings that might be utilized within the organization and how you wish to utilize them. The very bottom of the page, there's that description for the uh, password policy. This is simply going to pass through from your group policy internal to the organization. What we've got defined here is how the solution is uh, published out of the box from, from Bamboo Solutions. So you want to go in here and change this text to define, okay, well, you know, our organization uses eight characters as opposed to six, and we only require one numeric uh, key key column. So, you know, those types of changes you will need to go in and make uh, because if you were to utilize the existing ones, they may not follow the same format with what's being used. The look and feel, here again, if you want to modify the CSS, you can go in and, and do so. The language settings, once again, all of the web parts within Bamboo Solutions are going to offer different regional settings that can be utilized. Alright, moving forward from the password change, we're going to go ahead and touch on the password reset. Again, another package that is part of the password toolkit. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different. The password reset is obviously defined uh, for the intent and purpose if a user has forgotten their password. Well, the trick is here is how do they get to a SharePoint page? They can't sign in because they don't have their password or they forgot what it is. So how do they get to this page? Well, this is where the password reset would be set up on an anonymous page. Okay, so anyone within the organization that would have the address of where the password reset would reside, that user would be able to um, access that page. There wouldn't be a, a sign on for them. They'd simply come to the page that you see before you. Now the password reset here, you have a couple different options. Right now I've set it up as an email option where you would punch in your username, your email address, and then hit submit. Now, the difference here is I am currently signed in, so there is actually a CAPTCHA uh, illustration that would come up and the user would have to key that in and click on submit for the anonymous page, but since I'm currently logged in, I'm not seeing that. The other option, as opposed to using email to reset the web part, is to actually utilize three security questions. And let me show you where you can set that up. Let me edit the web part. Alright, so we're now editing the web part. Over here on the right, we can see um, just off to the section there, there is uh, the ability to use security questions or use the email address. And currently, I'm using an email address for this particular method of the password reset. And if I were to change that, and I come down a little bit further on some of the uh, configuration aspects of the uh, tool, we can see there's the security question one, two, and three. Now, the way these work is that the security questions will be the standard across the organization for you know what is my favorite color or um, what is my maiden name uh, you know some of those type uh, questions that the organization would then come up with now the answers would uh, be saved in the individuals AD uh, there'd be a custom field typically an attribute field that would be customized for each individual within the organization and it would point back to the answer for question one two and three so that's primarily the only difference between the password reset is that number one, it needs to be an anonymous page and you have the ability to use security questions or you can use an email address to reset uh, the password. All right, let's move on to the last uh, web part here as part of the package, which is the password expiration. Uh, primarily the intent and purpose here is to notify the users on a SharePoint page, possibly a my site type of page that their password is going to expire in so many days. Now there's a couple different ways that you can set this up. Number one, we can set the grace period to be so many days before this number shows up. I currently have my grace period set as 60 days, so anything that falls underneath that 60 days, I'm going to get the message that's on the screen before us. Now clearly that might be 
well too far in advance. Maybe 10 days is more appropriate. I would just need to go in and change that. In addition, I have a hyperlink here that would route me over to a different page within my SharePoint environment that would allow me to update or change the password to recycle it for a new password policy. So those are the, basically the two primary options that we can utilize this tool for. Let's go ahead and edit the web part and take a look at some of the more details within what it can perform. Okay, so once again, this is just pulling back directly from Active Directory. Um, just as in summary, we're simply pulling the Active Directory uh, features and tool set into SharePoint to simply pass through those type of features and commands. Okay, so here we have the different SharePoint settings. These are going to be different SharePoint groups to exclude if you wanted to specify those. Here would be where we need to define the redirect page and then there's where we define the grace period for the number of days. So we get questions sometimes in regards to which, which is going to follow uh, the true format. You know, if Active Directory is set at 90 days and the grace period is set at 60 days, which one is going to um, move forward? Well, all the grace period is doing is just informing the user uh, from a standard point that your password is going to be need to be reset in so many days. But the group policy within Active Directory is the one that the organization follows and all the other uh, systems and servers are going to follow within the organization. I have two options here. You can automatically redirect users to the above URL or you can display a brief message and then provide that URL as well. So that's going to conclude some of the toolkit uh, packaged web parts that we provide from Bamboo Solutions. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to an account manager or email us at sales at bamboosolutions.com. And this toolkit is available for a fully functional 30-day trial. I want to thank you for watching one of our quick video shorts in today's presentation on the Password Toolkit. I hope you have a great day.